Hi. Oh, that is loud. Okay, great. <laughs> um, hello, hello. Um, my name is Kiara. Um, I'm Maya Gopi, and I am the Wikipedia project assistant at Black Lunch Table. And during this presentation, I will be highlighting Black Lunch Table's Wikipedia organizing efforts from 2019 to the present. Um, so, but first, I'll give you some backstory on what Black Lunch Table is for those who are unfamiliar. Um, organized around literal and metaphorical lunch tables, Black Lunch Table takes the school lunchroom phenomenon as its starting point. In previous iterations, from, 20, from 2006 to, 12, to 2011, Black Lunch Table took the forms of online intercollegiate meetups, artist salons, and informal roundtable discussions. And currently, it comprises it comprises a series of artist roundtables, community roundtables, an online oral history archive, and a Wikimedia initiative. The format for our roundtables is modeled after a project iteration we staged in 2014 in Chicago at the Black Artists Retreat, which is an annual symposium for Black artists. <clears throat> Participants are curated into conversations, provided with a set of prompts, and discussions are audio recorded and transcribed for, our, um, for eventual public access and on our online archive. In January 2015, we staged our first People's Table, then called the Black Lives Matter Table, and that event responded to recent police-involved shootings as unarmed Black people and state violence both locally and internationally. As the research models for the Black Lunch Table archive to house the recorded audio, we noted that significant Black artists were omitted from art historical archives and the world's most widely referenced encyclopedia, Wikipedia. Our Wikipedia initiative redresses these omissions by mobilizing a collective authoring of articles on the lives and works of Black artists. When we began our Wikipedia project in 2014, important figures such as Fred Moten, Michelle Gaba, Peggy Cooper Caffritz, and Valerie Cassell Oliver were all with all Wikipedia pages. Several years later, each of these important figures has a page that began as a BLT target. Black Lunch Table is recognized as an official Wikimedia user group. And then under COVID, we hosted dozens of online events, including editathons, workshops, artist features, and skill shares. We also collaborated with other institutions to bring our Wikipedia project to their communities. In 2019, Black Lunch Table was granted 501 3 c status, which is nonprofit status, and has evolved exponentially with the support and dedication of its governance board and the commitment of its funders. Thanks to the support of grants from the Mellon Foundation, the Warhol Foundation, the Logan Foundation, Root Foundation, many foundations, Creative Capital, <laughs> um, the Foundation for Contemporary Art, among many others, Black Lunch Table has matured from an independent collaboration between two artists, Heather Hart and Gina Valentine, into a nonprofit with administrative staff, production staff, and affiliate proxies in other cities. So the Wikimedia Foundation estimates that 77% of wiki editors are white and 91% are men. Our work shifts this demographic and empowers people to write their own histories. Our sessions and events, including editathons, bingo contents, BLT Live and Monthly Office Hours, all of which I'll run over today, equip new editors with the skill and resources to create, update and improve Wikipedia articles and encourage existing editors to focus on Wikipedia knowledge gaps. A few years ago, the Wikimedia Foundation published the results of its annual Community Insights, a global survey of 2,500 Wikimedians, including active editors and program leaders conducted in September and October 2020. Um, and here you can see the stats where there's a lot of, you know, white people editing on Wikipedia. Not so many <laughs> black people editing on Wikipedia. You see the necessity of the work, it's there. <laughs> um, not to dwell on it. But yes, um, so more about our programming. So um, we include, like I said earlier, editor tons, contests, BLT Live and Office Hours, and we provide editors with the skills to update things to focus on Wikipedia knowledge gaps, especially the lives of black artists. 
So first off, I have editor terms. So this map basically details all the places that we've held um, Black Lunch Table programming um, between 2019 and the present, um, minus two um, upcoming events. So Black Lunch Table editathons have taken place at MoMA, New York Public Library, the McCall Center in Charlotte, North Carolina, the Joan Mitchell Center in New Orleans, and Project Row Houses in Houston. And internationally, we have hosted editathons at Bridge Books in Johannesburg, South Africa, and Banff Center in Alberta, Canada, as well as at Alice Yard, which is an artist residency in Trinidad and Tobago, and NLS Kingston, which is another artist residency in Trinidad and in Kingston, Jamaica. My bad. Um, and then this year, we've hosted programming in New York at Pratt's Institute's Anti-Racism Symposium and at Stove Works, which is an artist residency in Chattanooga, Tennessee. One of our initiatives is the regional proxy position. So the role of the proxy is to help establish Black Lunch Tables Wikipedia initiative in their own community through hosting three Wikipedia editathon events annually, developing the local editorship via training and support, and developing institutional outreach and partnerships. The proxy is also responsible for reporting finances and metrics for the events to the BLT team. I myself was a regional proxy for Black Lunch Table and have hosted workshops in Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, and Detroit. Recently, we've had regional proxies in Nigeria, Botswana, and the Democratic, of Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo. In the US, we've had proxies working domestically in Seattle, Washington, and Houston, Texas. So, you know, that whole thing, COVID happened, and it's still happening. Um, and so we came up with a lot of different um, initiatives that were run online to support the lives of Black artists. And one of those was Black um, was BLT Live. So BLT Live was a series of Instagram Live artist talks that highlight the work and interests of individual Black artists. This program was devised as a way to direct money to artists as exhibitions and freelance work were canceled due to COVID. Um, and it's still ongoing and will return either this year or next year. Um, it has been important to Black Lunch Table to compensate artists during the pandemic. Black Lunch Table Live, where we invite artists to give a talk or anything that they desire to share with a public, has allowed us to direct $4,108 to 21 artists um, up to the present. And in the past, we featured artists and arts workers such as Darren Huff, formerly of like um, Studio Museum, of Harlem, Pamela Council, we just went to Guggenheim, Ilana Harris Babu, Shani Peters, and more. And if you all take a picture of this, you can see all of these videos on Vimeo on our archive, which is available to the public. <coughs> um, another major programming initiative that we've had recently um, is a fellowship that we've had with Pace Gallery. Um, this six months long fellowship developed by Eliza Myrie who is Black Lunch Table's wiki director, um, culminated with an exhibition titled Action Query, um, Black, Art, Black Arts and, and Black Aesthetics at Pace Gallery's New York Gallery from February 1st to the 25th of 2023. Um, the first appointed fellow, Kristen Owens, created a bibliographic text based on her research into the Black American, um, into the Black American and Black diasporic artists in Pace's history. Central to Owens Fellowship is a text by Carolyn Fowler titled Black Arts and Black Aesthetics, a Bibliography from 1981. A self-published bibliography of 800 entries, it was inspired by the popular Black Arts movement of the time. During her time at Pace, Owens also facilitated conversations with Black artists and scholars about archival work, including artist Camila Janan Rashid, um, the founder of the Black Art Library, Asma Walton, scholar Dr. Howard Ramsey II, and more, all of which are accessible to the public via PACE's website for review. So if you go to PACE's website, there's an entire section on Kristen's work and what she accomplished over six months with the gallery. So on the left-hand side, we have a picture of Kristen, 
at Pace working and on the right hand side, that is me and Eliza at Pace's library. Um, so Owen's project on black bibliography is critical to advancing the work of documenting and disseminating information about artists. It harnesses the potential of collections that are not directly public facing and creates an opportunity to share that information. The traditions and lineage of Fowler's work are taking up in multiple ways in this partnership. Moreover, the difficulty that Fowler faced in publishing and distributing her work as a young black academic is reflected in the challenges Wikipedia editors face when seeking reliable and verifiable sources that satisfy notability requirements on the encyclopedia. Access to the collection and archives of PACE provided valuable source text to improve Wikipedia. Many black artists and cultural workers are missing or um, underdocumented in the world's largest and most, and most accessible encyclopedia. In the field of mainstream contemporary art, black artists are still marginalized within their field. Black Lunch Table's list of artists whose Wikipedia pages need improvement or creation is over 1300 names long. A formidable and growing challenge, an element of this fellowship is the improvement of Wikipedia articles of black artists. Um, another thing that um, I managed to come up with um, during COVID was this Black Lunch Table bingo. Um, it's basically a bingo card of artists who are on our list of 1300 names who either need pages developed or have no pages at, have no pages at all or need their pages developed and or improved. Um, and every two months I make a new one, <laughs> a new team. So this one here is just an example of the one that I made when Kristen was a fellow at Pace. Um, and so the entire card is populated with artists from Pace's um, history, of from Pace's exhibition history, black artists from Pace's exhibition history. Um, so stay tuned for September's bingo, you know, follow us on Twitter if you'd like to be notified of the next iteration of it. Um, you win prizes, new articles are preferred, um, but you can also just improve old ones and you qualify. Just send us an email when you've done that and yeah, we'll get your prize out to you. But also I think it's, personally, I think it's a great tool for teaching Wikipedia to students in schools if it's something that needs to be integrated into a class format. Um, so this iteration of BLT Bingo features Black American and Black diasporic artists who have been represented or by or exhibited with Pace Gallery during its 60 year history. Um, another one of our initiatives is the Black Lunch Table photo booth. In an effort to make notable artists um, that fall into the Wiki gaps more visible, Black Lunch Table began a photographic initiative that includes Wiki Commons contests, partnerships with art schools, and it invites professional photographers to host a pop-up portrait studio at some of our editatons and make that work open license for free use, edit, and distribution. You can find these photos on Wikimedia Commons. So essentially, when we have Wiki, when we have programming such as a, um, Editathon, for instance, what would usually happen is that we have a partnership with like a partner institution, like a school. We have the editathon, and then on the side, we would hire a local photographer to document people that attended or local artists who are there. They would sign a permission form, give it to us, and then we would upload it to Wikimedia Commons. What this is, is kind of like a proactive way to approach imaging. The other issue with having artists with no Wikipedia pages is that they often have no images that are acceptable to go on those pages. So sometimes the card goes before the horse, sometimes the image exists before the page exists, but when the page does exist, we will always have an image there waiting for it to happen. Um, <coughs> and then recently, we developed um, our Wiki Artist Workshop. We launched the first iteration of that. And basically this targeted black artists with existing, Wikipedia, with existing Wikipedia pages or people who are starting a career and are curious about how a Wikipedia page is made. And so basically they would join us for an hour long clinic where we equipped participants with the tools necessary to engage with Wikipedia as an artist slash public figure. 
By the end of this session, artists will become familiar with the rules and regulations of editing on Wikipedia and its sibling websites, Wikidata and Wikimedia Commons. They will gain insight into navigating disputes, learn how to upload images of themselves and their work to these sites with the correct licenses, and how to make it as easy as possible for your audience to write a concise and accurate article about them and their work. Writers, galleries, historians, students, general enthusiasts, and other stakeholders were welcome to attend. And this clinic was hosted over Zoom and is free for the public to use, um, to attend. Um, this really came out of, every now and then we get an email that goes, please save us our Wikipedia page. It's not, the information is just not correct. What do we do? And then we have to be like, well, we can't technically do anything, actually. Um, nor can you, technically, because you're a public figure. And so this came out of navigating people's anxieties about being in public and having people write about them, but also works as like a corrective for folks when they do interviews, how they think about themselves, how they talk about themselves, think about the futurity of what they're putting forward into the world. Um, and so here are some upcoming stuff that we have. Um, we have office hours every month that I host. Um, next one is on August 27th. So if you'd like to edit alongside us or ask specific questions about a page that you're working on that is directly related to our scope of interest, feel free to drop in. If you can't make it this month, the days and times of the remaining sessions can be found on our page on Wiki. Um, and then we have September and October's BLT Bingo. Our next one is coming out soon. So Look on Twitter where we post tips about each artist on the card to get you started if you're looking for a launch pad. And then we're also working on developing a writing and criticism program with the publication 60 Inches from Center, which is a criticism um, platform based in the Midwestern US. And this initiative will train young writers and critics living in that region um, by helping them develop articles about black artists also there. Because the issue is not only that there aren't pages about black artists, but there's no criticism available about black artists. There, are, there is criticism, but we need more, essentially. Um, and then we're also working on editatons in Santa Monica um, in California and Indianapolis in Indiana. And so, yeah, that's about that. Um, feel free to follow us. Um, you can find our meetup page on Wikipedia, first bullet point. There's an Instagram, Twitter, and Black, and our website for everything, including our archive. Um, and so, yeah, thanks for listening. If you have any questions, I'll attempt to answer them now, but also no questions is great and cool and fabulous. So either one, so <laughs> you know, I'm always scared of them, but I'll take it. <laughs> Oh, you can use the microphone actually, sorry. My bad. Hi, it's a bit intimidating. Um, so I'm from the UK chapter, um, and when the foundation did the Community Insight Survey, they also looked at the UK statistics, and I don't think you'll fall down in surprise to find out that actually a lot of white people in the UK also edit Wikipedia and very few black or Asian people. Um, and so as the UK chapter, one of our um, priorities is thinking about how we diversify the editor base. Um, we've done a lot around gender, um, but we haven't done as much around race. And I guess my, my, my question is, um, how open might you be to collaboration with a chapter? Because I appreciate that you're based in the US, um, but I, I've got some really good ideas, but at the same time, I don't want to just like implement those ideas in the UK. So I'm, I'm just sort of saying it'd be great to talk to you maybe at some point over the weekend or to talk to Eliza about whether there's something we could do together. Um, but just to say, I think this is really cool work and some of the things that you've done, like we're quite a well-established chapter, but some of the things you've done around, um, uh, I can't remember what you called it, sorry. Uh, but basically advising artists of colour, you know, how they might improve. The, those are totally new ideas to us, to me. So um, thank you for that. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, no, feel free to come chat with me. And I will take questions off my, because I'm getting cut off. They're playing the shark music for me. So I, the Jaws music. So I got to go. Bye. <laughs> oh, sorry.